the cut. We in the shot right now. I got a special guest. When I first posted that I'm doing these freestyles, I got about a thousand mentions from just from this one dude. I ain't never heard of him, never knew who he was. So I had to check him out, man. I had to bring him on stage. So so let him know who you are, man. I'm scared. I'm coming out of Wilmington. And I mean, I'm just trying to get my story out there. Everything I rap about, everything I say and happen, everything like Unless you know how sometimes they speak shit into existence. Right, right, right. You feel me? Other than that, though, I don't do like none of that. So, what part? What part of the city are you from? I'm from north. From north side. Up top on 35th. Where so, what's, what's going on, man? It's, it's a lot going on in the city. What's, 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 I know we own it down up there, though. Yeah. What's <laughs> no bullshit. Why it's so messy out there, bro? What's going on? Bro, keep it always the house. It's like everywhere ain't enough money out there. So what was it like growing up out there? Like for real, for real it wasn't even like, the top it wasn't even like, it's just like a hey, every other part of the city, but I was really into basketball, you feel me? Okay. Like growing up, you know, granted, you're in the city, shit happened, but I was mainly into basketball until like, when the Tatum got kicked out and shit. Conquer after I went to Conquer, it was basically like I was trying to run a sack of that basketball shit was over and when you feel me, that's when I really started getting into it and then we and shit and mom started kicking me out that's when all that shit started happening that's So, what, really what got you into rapping though? I always rapped though, I did that super fun, it was like, why like if you wanna roll with me, <laughs> chill with me, yeah. you can do something like that. Woo. That shit was it, bro. <laughs> so when when'd you realize, yeah, like, I mean, a lot of people can do something, but you don't really know you good. Like, when was that point where, like, yeah, this this the tight wave I need to be on? Like, I was, like, boom, when I was younger, like, when we, I was rapping with, like, a couple people, but motherfuckers always just be like, yo, you the one, you the, but I just, I never took this shit even until, like, Maybe like a year ago, a couple months ago, bro, I never, I started putting up them freestyles and then motherfuckers always be like, yo, you really can, you really can do this. But like, I know like that shit really like a long shot, bro. So I never was really, even though I was in the street and shit, I still was smart, you feel me? Right. Still going to school, registered medical assistant, shit like that. I was still getting shit, like still getting shit done. Cause I know that rapping is a long shot, bro. Yeah, but Where, So it was like, until, but like the response I was getting from like, it's just, when that shit start coming back to back to back to back to back, it's when you start believing in it after a while. It's like, I might really be able to really, you feel me? And then I'm seeing people like all the way out of the country, like California and shit, bust down chains, them niggas is light, bro. Right. I'm like, man, shit, they doing this, it's really some money in that. So yeah, so you got a, so you got a project on now, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's gonna be up, yeah, I just dropped the hard copies. It's okay. gonna be up everywhere. Like, yeah, but a lot of people telling me it's, it's crazy and it's a lot, it's a lot of pain in that. Where, where's, where all that pain coming from? Because some things, a lot of rappers can rap about it, but you can tell when something authentic or not. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. Like I said, that shit's coming from the heart, bro. I be rapping, like, especially, like, that's why I motherfuckers was telling me, like, you, I was dropping on freestyle. It's like, you don't, don't keep doing it for free, for free. You're going to run out, like, bro, that shit don't stop, bro. Because, right. like, even though as I'm living every day in my life and shit, Shit just keep happening. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's what I'm putting into it. It's just my life, man. Shit, just every day, son. It's just like a setback. And that's how I express myself. You feel me? But instead of keeping it all like bottled in, I don't really be having feel like I got nobody to talk to, bro. Like, it just, I don't like breaking my problems on everybody else. I know everybody going through their own shit and shit like that. So I just kind of stay to myself and the music, how I get it out. And then, like, you know how some people make like turn up music. Some people. Yeah. Be some people do feel good music, like the little Uzi shit. My shit is just like, like all relatable shit. Cause it's like people, I know a lot of people going through the same shit. You feel me? You know how Baby and Meek, I might listen to something. They charge me straight up, like just cause they talking about something that I'm going through. You feel me? So that's what. So they, so who who influenced you? Like what type of rappers? Like all right, I want that's what type of flow I'm trying to chase. You feel me? Who kind of like inspired you to to get? You know, like, like Meek, type of flow. you know, or Meek, because I, I, I didn't watch, you know, everybody watched Meek from the ground up. Facts. But I really, you know, Fly being out. into music, I just 
see a lot of stuff like a lot of people doing like how he changes for that's how i keep people really like mm -hmm. locked in like i don't keep the same food for more than like eight bars some people might not like i i might but if that's really what i'm saying some shit. but other than that that's how you keep people like keep people like straight on locked in or and that's what but, and, and that's what me the me don't keep the same play changes for like three times each verse X. and you see him on every Bird. freestyle he on is you already know it's gonna be it's gonna be body time. So what's the plan? What's the goal? What's, like, what you trying to do? What's next? I'm trying to take this shit all the way right now, bro. Focusing on more videos. You know what I mean? More like I'm trying to get out of Delaware. That's what we need to do. Like, even if we go to California for two days, get some studio time. Just, you feel me? We're not begging nobody to listen to nothing. We're not asking nobody for nothing. We're going to go out there, pay for our own studio time. Where the, where the weed at? We pair for our own weed. We gonna turn up in that bitch, and then we out. You feel me? Mike, wait a couple months. Go down to Atlanta, do the same shit. We just gonna start becoming a familiar face in different places, but we just go out record here, go out record here. Might pass out 100 CDs here. My pastor, we just gotta start traveling, getting out. I hear, I'm hearing a lot of people say, like, you gotta get out of Delaware. What's what's the problem? Like, what's why do you think Delaware's so bad? Is it you it's think not even just, just Delaware, it's just like, it's support? just like, ain't, like, that too, like a lot of support. Like we getting better with support in town and shit. But like, look at the market. Like you gotta go to cities like New York, Atlanta, where the market is hot. Whereas, like for my cousin, she just moved out of, like Las Vegas. She said she didn't met like three celebrities just walking to the store and shit. Like you feel me? It's just more opportunity, different places. Ain't really shit. Ain't no nobody come here. Nobody really look here for nothing. Like people, just motherfuckers that in left Delaware and. Did things you feel me? Just because it was out of it's Delaware, true. just because it's a different set of eyes on you. So, do you feel like you got Delaware behind you already? Yeah, I, I, I do. I don't think it's like all the way there, but I'm getting there though. Right. It's just because I, I, I ain't even really been taking the shirts like that long, and even if I ain't as dedicated as I should be, because you know, okay. everyday life still so shit like, bro, I don't. Can't like, ask my mom, my dad for nothing. I said, I got my own car, crib, I got a son, all that shit, bro. So it's like, I need that paper now. So motherfuckers don't realize it, but you bullshit, you bullshit, you bullshit. But it's like, studio costs forty dollars an hour. Videos is like at least a buck fifty. Thanks. You gotta pay for all this shit. But then when I was selling CDs, only certain motherfuckers bought the CDs. It was only eight dollars. Mm -hmm. You feel me? But the motherfuckers I didn't buy the CDs. Yo, you why don't you put it up here? You getting the stew, getting the stew, getting the stew, getting the stew. Right. Get stew. Getting like, you feel me? That shit costs a lot more money on top of the bills and all that shit I gotta pay. Mm -hmm. And I'm not about to spend all my like spank out on studio time shit. I gotta have money in the cut just in case some shit happen or some shit break down. Like I said, I can't call nobody. I gotta be the one. My family need me. I got you know what I mean. So it was like I'm still put. I'm getting better with mixing the rap shit into my life though. Yeah. So oh, so you got a kid now. So I know. Did that change anything for you? Did that change how you got move? Anything? Yeah, bro. That changed a lot. Cause now I'm not moving for myself. Bird changed my whole mindset and everything, bro. Bird. Cause now it's like I like I move more cautious. Cause now it's like I, I want to be around for him. Mm -hmm. Like I don't do a lot of shit I used to do, and, and now you know, like you can't just get up and jump and just go here, here, here. Yeah. You got me like I can't even just like with <coughs> with them trips in Miami and shit. I can't just get up and go. I might gotta bring my center or not. I gotta find somebody watching for them two, three days or something. Or if my girl don't come, she's there and watch it, but she might got work. And, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So That's the like, thing though. That that just remind me like you know what I mean the shit that just happened to Nip. Yeah. Like you leaving your whole family behind, and the crazy thing Shit. is, that's in his own hood. That's his nigga in his own circle. You feel me? And that's crazy because a lot they say a lot of rappers. If you look it up, bro, it's like I think almost ninety percent of the rappers that died died in their own cities. Their own city. It's a lot of niggas that's doing I just that. was looking at the Boosie interview. Boosie was saying that like Lil Snoop, Nipsey. It was bro. They named like ten people. Oh yeah, Chinks. They died in their own city. And they like, why don't you think? Motherfuckers is like, why don't you go back with security and shit like that? But it's like, they like, if you look like the niggas, the, it was a matter of fact, it was a dude with surf. He was yeah, listening, surf he put it in the smartest thing he said, if you put a collar on the dog, the dog can't see the collar. Exactly. Like, I just seen that shit too. Like, where are you? Like, you don't know. You feel me? Like, like I don't, I'm not going to think of me. Like, sometimes, like, people still come to me all the time. Yo, ski, do I see you on the gram? Do, 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 do. People want to take pictures. People want to, you know, I just see, like, all that shit. But I don't be, I just see me as the regular me. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? So they probably not even really seeing 
Like, yo, I got all this money I got, like, they thinking they regular them. But the other people, they, you know what I mean?